Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and a Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday, April 30th, and ending Friday, May 4th. So this Monday is the last day of April, Statement Printing Day. Often takes a little bit off the uh, excitement level uh, in terms of if they're printing the statements, they might be not. They might have stocks where they want them for the end of the month. It's not a quarter end, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll see if it holds up the market at all. Here's the ES Front Month Futures Contract. It's the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And we kind of went both ways last week and didn't go far. We'll look at the intra-week action in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's go through the major indices and see what we've got. So we've got crude oil down 22 cents on Friday, 67.87, still holding up near highs. Gold down $4.20. That's near four-month lows, actually. Uh, S&P cash index gains three. Pretty boring. NDX up six. Also pretty boring. It was higher, obviously, on the gap up. Sox loses ten dollars, ten point ten. Biotech's gained nine. So there's a pretty flat session on Friday overall. VIX down eighty three cents to fifteen forty one. The trend uh, loses or closes at one point oh six. The ten day moving average is at point eight nine. So we've not gotten that under the point eight five level, which would be a sell signal on the broad market. Nasdaq volume was two billion shares again on Friday. Advanced decline ratio on the Nasdaq. 21 stocks more more 21 more stocks up than down on the New York 462 more stocks up than down Google loses 1186 Apple down a buck 90 Netflix down 222 Amazon up 54.66 new almost new closing highs it did make new trading highs Tesla up 859 TLT the 20 year bond ETF up 91 cents Goldman Sachs loses 29 cents hanging near lows in the last few months. Let's take a look at the intra-week action. We'll switch it to 10-minute candles here just so you can see. We basically closed out the week right where we opened it, didn't we? That was very uh, uneventful overall. Um, so Monday was a small gap up that filled and closed about even. Tuesday gapped up and sold off hard. Wednesday opened flat, banged around, and ended up closing about where we opened. Thursday, small gap up and went higher, which got us back to where we started the week, and then Friday was just, just dead, dead, dead flat overall. NASDAQ side, uh, not much different. Here's a look at it. Oh, hang on. Uh, closed about right where we opened. So the net for the week is nothing from that perspective. All right. Uh, here's a look at the uh, economic calendar for the week ahead. So Monday we've got core PCE price index an hour before the bell, personal income and spending an hour before the bell, Chicago PMI 15 minutes into the market, pending home sales 30 minutes into the market. Tuesday, final manufacturing PMI 15 minutes in, ISM manufacturing PMI 30 minutes in along with construction spending, total vehicle sales at some point later in the day. Oh, we have a Fed meeting. It's a two-day Fed meeting, so that's going to slow us down for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. The Fed announcement is on Wednesday at 2 p.m. We've got the ADP non-farm employment change at 8.15 in the morning, and crude oil inventory is an hour in on Wednesday. Thursday, the challenger job cuts, non-farm productivity, preliminary unit labor costs, unemployment claims, and trade balance all an hour before the bell. Those are some big numbers. Uh, final services PMI 15 minutes in, ISM non-manufacturing PMI 30 minutes in fact, with factory orders, natty gas an hour in, and then on Friday another, I've got big numbers, so Wednesday the Fed meeting, Thursday is trade balance, and Friday is the unemployment rate. That's a big number too. So we've got all sorts of big stuff this week um, to dodge around, and we will see how it goes. Uh, charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week in stocks and futures.